the patch stop. Out here in Yorkshire, there's so much to see. The steep, rugged cliffs, the chilly North Sea. High in the hilltops or down on the quay. There's so much to see here in Yorkshire. There on the coast is a village so old. Made out of stone, it stands quiet and cold. Out here in Yorkshire, there's so much to see. The steep, rugged cliffs, the chilly North Sea. High in the hilltops or down on the quay. There's so much to see here in Yorkshire. Hello, I'm Peggy Patch and we're out today to find a patch in Yorkshire to play. Look, here's a village. So close to the sea. It's a steep climb down, but not for you or me. Come on, let's explore. Are at the patch stop. We've come to explore this tiny fishing village called Staves. Come on, you two. You're going to get out of the bus? Oh, yes. But we just wanted to make sure that this is the correct stop. Hmm. Ooh, it's a very winding street, isn't it? Just look where we've come from, Poppy. <laughs> from the top of that hill. Mm, yes, and look where it goes to. Mm, it's a very steep street. Isn't it, Mark? Oh, yes. It is steep, isn't it? But the cobblestone should help to stop our feet slipping. Can you guess what might be down at the bottom of the hill round the corner? Uh, is it somewhere to play? No. I hope it's somewhere to sit down. Just looking at that steep hill makes me feel tired. Oh, mm. Poppy, come on. Mm. Yoo-hoo! I know, Mark. It's the sea, isn't it? That's right, Peggy. It's the sea. Come on, let's go and have a look. Over the cobbles, down the street, tippity-tap go our feet. <laughs> oh, wait for us! Yeah, we do like to be beside the seaside. Yeah, we do, do like to be... Oh, yes, yes, right. This is exciting, isn't it? It's very narrow. Just about enough room for me to squeeze down. Oh, look. You can see the sun shining at the far end. I wonder what there is out there. Come on. Come on. Oh, look. I can see the sea at last. Oh, and I can see some fishing boats. Come on, let's go down and watch. laid out on the counter. <laughs> I wonder if they've got any sardines. Mm, let's have a look. Him. Oh, got some prawns there. Mm, 
scared of little pink ones. Mm. And um, some cod at the back. Mm. And uh, what's this? Oh, look, look, crabs. Mm. Peggy likes those. No, but no sardines. Mm. Oh, well, maybe the fisherman will catch me some tomorrow. Mm. This is what the fishermen use to catch crabs. It's a crab pot, and mm. the fishermen leave them out in the sea and then wait for the crabs to go inside to eat the bait. Yes, and then the fishermen go out in their boat to collect them again. That's right, Peggy. Mark, I've got a great idea. Because we're in a fishing village, I'm going to make my den into a fish shop and we can play a shopping game. That's great, and then we can all come to your fish shop to buy fish for tea. Yes. <laughs> now, I shall need help with making our pretend fish so that I'll have plenty to sell. I'll find Poppy and Wife. OK, and the children could help as well, so I'll go and find them. See you later, Peggy. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Now, where shall I look for Wy and Poppy? So many places to hide with narrow alleyways and tiny houses all higgledy-piggledy. <laughs> hmm. I'll try this way. that's rugged and warm it's built upon land that slopes down to the sea it's been there for years and it's all made of stone houses and parts the streets and the key up and down the village round the houses small and grey secret passages to find it's a wonderful place to play who's that beeping round the corner Someone's tiny feet Jumping down the craggy steps And running on the cobbled street Up and down the village In and out the alleyway Narrow streets with cobblestones It's a wonderful place to play Who's that hiding round the corner? Did you see a yellow beak? There beside the fishing boats The boat together in the creek up and down the village, around the houses small and grey, secret passages to find, it's a wonderful place to play. Who's that peeping round the corner, furry face, a tail as well, near the fish shop by the key, such a tempting fishy smell. Up and down the village, in and out the alleyway, narrow streets with cobblestones, a wonderful place to so you've got some splodges of glue on that. Why don't you put that upside down in there, Darren, and you'll pick up all the glitter. There you go, give that a press like that, and you'll do it really well, won't you? Great stuff. We're making some fish for Peggy's fish shop. We're really busy. Lots of lovely shapes. Now, how are you getting on? Yours is lovely. You've got a lovely eye on there to do a shape of a fish like that. Put some fins on. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? Now, if we give that to Emma, Emma, can you put some eyes and things on there? And we'll give that one to Darren. You can put some, maybe some glue on the fin there and put maybe some of these little stars on. And I'll get busy cutting out another one. Here we draw go. Some fins. Yeah, draw some, draw some fins on. That's a good idea. We can have lots of fish of different sizes because Peggy will want different sized fish for her shop, won't she? Oh, fantastic! That's a really interesting shaped fish. Look at that one. Yeah. Brilliant. Lovely job. Let's put that in the basket. That's a lovely one, Emma. Now we've made lots of fish here, so should be enough for Peggy's fish shop. Do you think she'll sell them all? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Well, let's pop them in there. The problem is, where is her fish shop? Because there's lots of places to hide a fish shop in the village, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Should we start looking for some picture trail clues? Yeah. OK, let's see if we can find any. I bet they're going to be hidden somewhere. You know what Peggy's like. Come on, team. Now, where could she have put a clue? Have a look. Could be anywhere. See anything? Card or a picture of an animal anywhere? Can we see anything? What have you seen? Oh, look. Great. It's a fish. Look at that, OK. Now, which way was the peg pointer? We've got to remember that. That way. Right, OK, so that was that way. Do you want to hang on to the peg then, Darren? Now, let's see what it says. Down the corner, up the hill, look closely on the windowsill. On the windowsill. So it's round the corner, up the hill, look closely on the windowsill. So round the corner, the peg was that way, so that's over here. OK. Now, it was up the hill, but look closely when you're going up the hill. Can you see anything, Darren? Yeah. Where? Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look what we found here. 
way. Okay, let's have a look. Right, well, let's take the peg off, because which way was the peg pointing? That way. Uphill, okay. Climb the steps. Climb up and see. Another fish pointing to, to me. me. So that's written for Peggy. So find the steps, climb up and see. Another fish pointing to me. So, whoops, I've got all the fish. They're off. They're so keen. Right, let's have a look up here. Lots of lovely plants here, aren't there? It's very narrow, this, isn't it? They get narrower as well. Oh, and there's a milk thing on the side. Remember what Peggy said, up the steps, we've climbed those and we're looking for another fish pointing to Peggy. It's very narrow around it. It could be anywhere. Can you see it? Where is it? Let's have a look. Now, remember, which way was the peg pointing? Up there. OK, let's see what it says. It says, climb still higher to the top, then you'll find Peggy's Jolly Cod Shop. That must be her fish shop. So we have a look up here. That's it. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, it's getting very narrow now, isn't it? Can we see anything? Hello, Got anything? Peggy. Hello. Oh, there it is, look, the Jolly Cod. Let's go and say hi, Peggy. Hello. Hello, Emma. Hello, Darren. Hello, Mark. Hi. <laughs> We've got loads of fish for you here. Oh, thank you very That's much. That's it. Do you want to move over one? That's brilliant. Have a sit down there. Well, let's, do you want me to load these into your baskets oh, for yes, you? Oh, yes, please. Pop them okay, in there. Okay, there we are. Let's put these in. Oops, there we go. They're beautiful. Aren't they good? Did they're you all... make them all yourself? Yeah. Well done. They're lovely. Well, there we are. since this is a very jolly fish shop, would you like to buy some fish? Yeah. Would you? Would you like to pick the one you like? Which one do you want? Oh, that's a lovely one there. What about you? That's beautiful. Bigger ones are over here, aren't they? Do you want a big one? Yeah? One of those big ones? Look at that. Okay, and I'll have beautiful. a... Beautiful. I'll have a little tiddler there, because I'm not very hungry, Peggy. Aww. There we are, a little one. Now, we've got three fish, Peggy, so how much will that be? Um, one, two, three. Well, oh, I think five pence each, don't right. you? So that'll be 15 pence. 15 pence, right. Hang on a minute, I think we've got the right money. There we go. All right, Peggy, Thank there you, you go. Thank you very much. Well, well look, we've got our fish. All we've got to do now is go and cook them for our tea. So we'd better get on and cook them, Yummy. haven't we? Come on, then, team. We'll take all this with us. We'll see you later, Peggy. See you all later. Right. Have a Bye good bye. time. Bye. bye. Thanks very much. Hello, why? Oh, hello, Peggy. Hey, this must be her fish shop. Mmm, the jolly cod. <laughs> well, in that case, I'd better have a nice cod for my tea. Oh, mm. a cod. Oh, there's one just there, a nice silver one. Oh, right. Help yourself. Why? Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Right, how much is that, Peggy? Um, five pence, please. Why? Oh, what a bargain. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Why? Thank you, Peggy. I'll see you later. Mmm. Enjoy your fish. <laughs> Did you know that this village has always been famous for fishing? And in the olden days, the women wore special bonnets to carry the crab pots on their heads down to the quay. Just like this. And on very special days, the girls and boys would dance around the maypole to celebrate a good catch of fish. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Just like the olden days in this village. Do you know, I think we should dress up too and pretend we lived here long, long ago. I'll go and tell the others. That's a good idea.
pretending to live in the olden days, isn't it? No, yes. I love dressing up. You do look funny, Peggy. <laughs> well, so do you, Poppy. Yes. No. Hey, I'm glad I don't really live in the olden days. This crab pot on my head is rather uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, I think you all look very splendid, just like fisherwomen in the old days. And you look like an old-fashioned fisherman, and you'd better hurry up down to the quay, because the fishing boat is just going out. Look! Oh, and there's the bus bell. We'll have to be packing up already. Peggy, you go down to the quay to see the fishing boat go out. And Poppy and Wyde, do you want to help me choose something for Peggy's patch pockets? Oh, yes. I like Peggy's patch pockets. Oh, oh, oh. Can I choose something, please, Mark? Hmm. Of course you can, Wyde. What do you suggest? Um, well, how about my beautiful blue little staves? Bonnet. I think it is lovely in the patch pocket. That's a brilliant idea. Shall I help you get it off? Oh. Here we are. It's a lovely bonnet. Mind my crab pot. There we are. Oh, we'll take that off as well. Um, Mark, Mark, could I put it on the patch pocket? Please? Yes, you can, mm, Poppy. There you, you are. I don't think it'll fit, oh, Mark. I'll, I know. We'll put it over the top like that. There Ew. we go. Peggy and her friends will see you on another patch soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We've had a lovely day. Round and round, up and down, hide and seek around the town. Goodbye! Oh, these cobbles are so steep. Oh, whoops. <laughs>